What's up, pussies? I'm the Heavy Metal Dick, and this is Heavy Metal Homesteading. Today we are uh, in somebody else's carport, uh, welding some shit. We're fucking around with metal and extreme heat. This is James from Garibaldi Bushcraft. He's a professional welder. He's gonna teach me how to melt hot steel into fucking from one piece to two piece. Let's make it happen. So, when you're stick welding, basically you're holding the stick 45 degrees to the weld joint. So this is a T joint. Yeah. So basically you're 45 degrees to it and you have like a 20 degree travel angle. And so you're not like 90 degrees to the yeah. plate, you got a bit of a travel angle and this entire stick is consuming. And so basically as it's consuming, you want it to either be, like you want to just feel it like lightly touching the steel, if okay. not like a 16th to an eighth of an inch off from the steel. So okay. you're, you're constantly just trying to keep it in that zone, just lightly like feather touching the actual material as it's disintegrating into itself. And uh, so when you're striking an arc, basically you just either, if basically it's got uh, like metal in the center and then it's got flux coating on the outside. Right. Metal needs to touch the metal to actually initiate the arc. So right. if the flux is just touching, it's not going to strike. So you have to like break the flux off by tapping it or scraping it. Okay. Until metal touches metal and it, uh, then it'll strike. So we'll keep it right ahead. Slag. Right. If the slag gets ahead of the electrode, you're going too slow. Okay. And you want to keep kind of like a fingernail shaped puddle okay. behind the electrode. Yeah. Think about where your hands are going to be. So like with that, I gradually started coming in and then this hand maxed out. Right. on the rest and so then I'm just like oh, I'm trying to like move my hand so that I can keep up with right. the angle so ideally you want to have your hand like here so that when it's disintegrating it's going to be clear right. of what's going on you sort of have to think ahead of time as to where your body's going to be you can like run through the weld before you actually do it just to make sure you're going to be in the zone sweet oh. remember that time you said I could wear your helmet so I could see what the fuck I'm doing yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, so that's a pretty shitty well. She's a beaut, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the weld done by a professional ticketed welder. And that's done by the fucking stupid rookie who has no idea what he's doing. So we're gonna run a couple more passes and uh, try to get me learned up a little bit better. <laughs> so with that, uh, the two things. You were probably like, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch away from the actual um, material. Yeah. And so it was just arcing down and just like spattering shit into it. So you right. want to like basically just have that electrode like touching the corner. Like you can even just practice just like having it in there. Right. And letting it disintegrate as you're going along. It might stub out on you, but just work on being able to feel it touching the entire time as you're running along. Right. And also slow down on your travel speed as you're going along. Okay. You would probably want to go twice as fast across it as you needed to. For learning's sake. Turn it down. Turn it up. Turn it up. Make it easier to strike if it's turned up higher. Yeah. This is frustrating now, I mean uh, yeah. One thing that I'll do is basically I'll drag it okay. while keeping it really close to the steel and then letting that, you'll see like a lightning bolt basically come off from it and then bring it back to where you're originally going to go okay. and then put it into the puddle. So you're going... Okay. Like that, right? Yep. Yeah. 
do and you want to keep that kind of calm so when you see it jumping it means you're a little bit far away. Okay. So if you see anything sporadic happening behind you, you just want to bring your, your rod in a little bit closer and okay. when it starts to really simmer down, that's when you know you're at a good travel distance. I can't really see the puddle from this side. Yeah, you you sort of have to see it out of the corner of your eye because you're trying to watch two things at once. Right. But because uh, seeing it from there, I can really see like the shape yeah. of the puddle. And yeah, yeah. Whatnot. Yeah, when you're actually welding, it's not quite as easy to see the uh, yeah the shape of what's going on behind you. It looks like it might actually hold something together this time. You probably could have stuck two pieces of metal together with that. It's not where that goes. Damn it. There's actually something that resembles a weld in there. We're getting there. It's starting to look like uh, two pieces of metal come together. Still pretty ugly and shitty, but. We'll get it figured out. stubbing out which is the fine line you gotta play it's like yeah. if you go too close then you fucking stub out well there's like a far. spot there where I could see where I was gonna stub out yeah. like pull out my egg like yeah. getting a bit of a feel you're starting to get the feel for it now right <clears throat> so yeah the next one just work on keeping it tight in that corner tight in the pussy tight in there Right there we have it. There's one uh, one weld with a half decent bead. That was the second one. It's a big fucking globby mess. But we're making it happen. If you like this shit, like my channel, uh, check out James's channel, uh, Garibaldi Bushcraft. We'll fire a link in the description box. Subscribe if you want to see me weld more shit. Maybe next time I'm welding shit, it'll actually be a thing, not just some random plate crap. Yeah. Fuck you.